Before a hair transplant, the patient will go through a consultation with the doctor and the clinic manager. The step-by-step -step details will be discussed, and the patient will have a chance to ask questions about the operation. How long does the surgery usually take? The time is long. The total will be four hours to five hours. Gotcha. Uh, do you guys take any breaks during the surgery? At the time when we are doing the harvest care, we are going to take about two hours. 오랜 시간 동안 환자소로 복제되기 때문에 많이 힘드실 테지만 이 시간만큼 참아주시기 바랍니다. And this is the most hard, like the hardest part of doing the surgery because you need to like unlock this for two hours during the harvest. And then just like after the harvest of your hair, we're uh, going to give you a small break for like five minutes. You can go to the restroom and drink a cup of water and then we'll come back for the implantation. And then um, before doing the hair part one uh, implantation, we're going to discuss all the design for before surgery again. And the transportation will take about one hour and a half or two hours. So actually the surgery time will depend on the harvest time. So the harvest will be around two hours or maybe longer than that or shorter than that. So it's actually depends on the harvest. After that, the doctor will check the density of the hair at the back of the patient's head and mark the area that will be shaved. The patient was asked to change into surgery clothes and take off all the accessories that she was wearing. Please take off all the accessories you have, like necklace, earrings, and also your watches. Pictures for before and after comparisons were taken. A numbing cream was applied above the patient's eyebrow. The nurse will draw blood, from which they'll extract the plasma later. The back of the patient's head was shaved and prepped for surgery. The grafting area is well disinfected. Anesthetics were injected at the back of the head. Saline was injected too, to puff the area and see each hair follicle. The extraction procedure begins. The doctor uses a punching tool to extract the hairs one by one, directly. The harvest follicular units are further divided by the nurses. After harvesting, the nurse puts gauze on the back of the head, where the hair follicles are extracted from. Okay, so we finished the first step. How does it feel? Are you feeling okay? Was there any pain? How was it? There is a little bit of pain when they're coming down the side again, but the mm -hmm. rest of it was pretty comfortable. Yeah, so you're not in any, like, you don't feel dizzy, you don't feel any, like, discomfort, anything right now. Oh. That's perfect. So we're ready to go to the next step then. Perfect. The doctor has already outlined the hair transfer area. Anesthetics were injected above the eyebrow where the numbing cream was applied earlier. The doctor disinfects the hair transplant area. The hair transplant begins. The grafts are placed in a nutrient-rich solution. Using a pen-type tool, the hairs are directly implanted into the scalp. The after-operation result. 